Sometimes the impossible happens. And sometimes you even get to see it happen. Not on the field, not even during the game, but in the locker room, afterwards, and subsequently all over Twitter. Bills lineman Deion Dawkins did the impossible when it comes to post-game interviews. He delivered one that was actually memorable. He waxed poetic about the Bills run game with an answer that involved trains and diesel engines and probably most importantly, mac and cheese. The internet being the internet jumped all over this. He shared a pic someone created imagining Chef Dion's mac and cheese. And then iconic brand Kraft blew some cheesy dust on the whole situation and updated their cooking instructions to follow Dion's lead. This could have been the end of it, but why stop there? Why not, to borrow from Emeril, kick this already most Buffalo story up a most Buffalo notch? I didn't even know that restaurants existed where there was like 17 or 18 like different flavors of mac and cheese. Mooney's, you know the place that calls itself the home of mac and cheese, the one with 17 varieties of mac and cheese, the one Food Network says was one of the best mac and cheeses in the country. Thank you very much. Well, they invited Dion for lunch today. Nice, wet, and juicy. You really don't want to know what goes through the mind after a football game, and it's just going. It's just full speed. It just keeps going and going and going because the adrenaline is going. And, uh, you know, it's just what came out, you know, mac and cheese, diesel trucks, and and oiling up the trains. <laughs> Passion and humor all shared over some good old fashioned comfort food. I may not know a ton about football, but if you ask me, I think Deion Dawkins oh, has definitely good. managed to talk his way into a most <laughs> buffalo you know, recipe mixing it up. for success. Keeping it nice, wet, and juicy in the end zone like this. 